fact, the Moabite stone that was found in the late 1800s, which is an inscription that's in the Louvre Museum, it's, uh, it, it says, it it's, starts out, I am Mecha, son of Kamosh, which is the king of their gods, um, king of Moab. And so Mesha is directly talked about in the Bible, and then we have this inscription that says, I am Mesha. And Mesha is the one that in the Bible sacrifices his son on the, on the wall. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Because he lived. Kiriat Hereseth is where he does that. Anyways, um, it says, he says, Mesha says in his inscription, the men of Gad have lived here since ancient times. And this is an inscription from the 9th century BC. And then Dan moved up. Yeah. Yeah, Dan right. moved up to the north, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was when they were down here, then they're in the area where we were when we were at Joppa. And then they moved up to where Tel Dan was. And they totally left that area? Yeah. And then here we are. And so one point they're making here is that the, the seven <coughs> of the tribes still needed land and the land was allotted to them from here at did the philistines take that when they left when they moved there yeah i mean the philistines held the coast right. for a lot a long time yeah and and even joppa would go in and out of uh sea people's hands here's the jezreel valley so <coughs> And is this the Hula Valley here? Yeah, this is the Hula Valley. I'm trying to see if they got some Mary on here, but I Beth L. Here's Bet L. Bethel. Here's I AI. We're gonna be there. Um Bet. Oh, oh Bet Betaron. Beth Aron. And uh, I don't see that they have. All the bathroom people out there. <laughs> Here's Bet Sean. Bet Sean. Yeah, it would have been right. Right in here. None of those are Samaria. Uh, they're, they're looking back older, mm -hmm. but, you know, more mm -hmm. ancient than Samaria. Okay, we got everyone. Look around. Yeah? All right. <laughs>